Hey there guys, it's Alyssa, Super Calilistic, and I am your Friday girl on Five Awesome Optimists. Last week, I asked you guys to share with me why it is that humans seem so attracted to kind of the darker side of humanity, especially those of us that believe that good will prevail in the universe. But how will good prevail if we're not more attracted to it and we don't want it more, like really want it, like desire it? Maybe this topic just wasn't that interesting to you guys, but I didn't really get that many comments and I got zero video responses. Boom. But I did get a couple comments and um, uh, let's see, I'll share them with you. So Jordan May said that I was very organized to plan a week in advance, and thank you. And then again from Johnny Brazil 01, who actually made a guest video, so be watching for that on the weekends. And he said that I got people being more attracted to evil things because I think you want to try whatever is prohibited or whatever is not allowed. And I totally agree with this. When I was in high school, I was a complete rebel child, and it was kind of this tell me I can't do something, I'm going to do it. But this still does not address this whole concept of good prevailing in the universe. Um, so, next. Oh, and then Peak Oil Countdown said that hope is not believing you will be successful, but knowing that if you are unsuccessful, the reason why will make sense. This comment is more of a riddle but I think what he's trying to say is it's not so much that we believe good will prevail throughout the universe, but that to believe in the opposite, good doesn't stand a chance. Do I get a gold star? I think I get a gold star. I like gold stars. Okay, for next week, I am going to base my video on something that actually just happened to me. Um, some of you may know Pink Tuesday is back. If you don't know what Pink Tuesday is, you're a loser. And no, I'm just kidding. Uh, if you don't know what Pink Tuesday is, go to my channel and check it out and um, subscribe to my channel. So anyways, I made the first one in a while and I got a really great response. And then there was this one guy that was just writing really nasty comments about like, you know, I'm so untalented that um, I'd really be much more successful on YouTube if I just get over, get it over with and take my clothes off. As if looking good means I should show my goods. That's just, doesn't make any sense at all. If you guys want to know who this guy is and harass him, no, I'm just teasing, don't harass him. I don't really encourage you guys to do that because I don't think you can change someone's opinion. You're just going to make them more stubborn in their opinion. But, um... But that made me think that this could definitely be a topic for this next week. And it's like, what do you do when people insult you? It's interesting that both Allison and um, Sarah talked about things this week that had to do with confidence. Um, confidence in love and knowing that you're a perfect, awesome person is out there and confidence in just in life. And feeling confident even when you don't feel confident, which is really important, by the way. So I know this is super long-winded, but I just saw the Lady Gaga special edition from Us Weekly, and I don't know if you guys know, but I'm a very big fan of hers. I think she's amazing. I know some of you may hate her. I know some of you may love her, um, but I just think she's spectacular and an amazing performance artist. And I found this quote of hers, which I think very much applies to the situation I had this past week. And it says, well, it's your opinion, isn't it? And I'm not about to waste my time trying to change it. So this goes out there to all the haters. And anytime you've been insulted or felt like someone doesn't believe in you or has an opinion that is opposite of yours, just let them have their opinion and it's not your responsibility to change it. Anyways, let me know what you guys do when you get in those situations where people are nasty to you. And yeah, have a great weekend and a wonderful Friday. I hope it's beautiful where you are and you're happy and healthy. And if not, I hope things get better. Love you guys. Bye.
I thought it would be nice just to give you a little dose of Domino before I go. Oh, kisses. Do you like the way my lipstick tastes? Bye, you guys.